I love fishing in the winter time. It's a great time to go fishing. There's less people out there. Bigger fish to be caught. Uh, on Beaver Lake, you can also catch some uh, big stripers. Some of the biggest uh, smallmouth and Kentuckys you're going to catch during the winter time. So it's it's fun to be fishing for them then. Heck, I tell you what, you could go to Tennessee, you could go to Florida, you could go all the way to Texas, and you could catch fish this time of year. What you need to do though is get a lure that's going to catch them. And so what I have found is the ledge hog is right here. This is one of my favorites. I've been using it for a long, long time. And I've caught a lot of fish on it, caught a lot of big fish, everything from smallmouth, Kentuckys, largemouth, stripers, whites, you name it, they'll eat it. So the thing about the ledge hog is it uh, comes in three different sizes. Uh, so it has a three inch, four inch, and five inch. So it depends what you're really fishing for. What your forage is, you're gonna match your forage, of course, on there. There's five holes that are on the top of this ledge hog right here. So you can see those are the five holes. I use the middle hole and the second hole from the front is the most common one that I use. I use when I'm vertically fishing up and down, I put it into, I just put the split ring right into the center. And then when you pull it up, it's going to vibrate as you pull it up, it's going to pull up straight. And so it kind of looks like a, a shad that's dying is what it looks like or trying to get away. And the next one is the second hole. So the second hole is, uh, is on there. And what you want to do there is you're, you're casting it out and you're bringing it back. So in that situation, there, it's more like this coming through the water. So it's like a fleeing thing. Like if you're fishing, um, more uh, horizontal and you're fishing schools of bait fish, you want to cast it out and you want to reel it back through them. That's what you're really looking for uh, with the second hole. There's other holes you can, you can use any of those, but those are the two that I use the most. So I talked about them being uh, coming in three different sizes. So I have uh, the three different sizes here. Um, so this is the big one right here. Okay, so we'll start with the biggest one. They come with the snap. They also come with two super sharp, strong treble hooks. Um, and then uh, also the hardware is real strong in there. They have different uh, color patterns that you can get in there. You just have to look on the website to see which one that you like the best. Shad patterns, uh, dingy water that we have here, um, uh, that chartreuse blue shad. But uh, here's what it looks like. This is the uh, five inch one. The five inch one uh, weighs three and three quarter ounce. And that's the biggest one. And the next one is the middle size, I guess you would say. And uh, it comes in at uh, four inches and it's one and three quarter uh, ounce is what it weighs. And the smallest one is uh, three inches and three inches, uh, it only weighs three quarters of an ounce. Now, of course, there's a difference. You match the hatch and you can do whatever you want to on those things. But um, this is the most popular one. And I think this is uh, the most popular one I use. It's the most popular one I think that's out uh, fishing like ledges out in Tennessee and stuff. But that's what we have. So a couple different ways of uh, fishing it. You can uh, cast it out and you can bring it back and you can kind of hop it as it goes. You can hop it going through there. Uh, or the other presentation I do is I just drop it straight down. I bring it up and I'll let it fall. I bring it up and I'll let it fall. And th those are the two the best ones. The thing that's great about these are you can drop them down to a fish so you're using your live sonar you can drop these down to your fish really quick so you can get that bite you can get to them fast because as we're learning with uh, live sonar is those fish are not staying underneath your boat very long unless they happen to be schooling and they're staying in that spot otherwise they're moving really quick that way you can see them as they're coming you can make your presentation you can get down to them and then you can do it the one tip that i will give you is 
if you can get this down there before they come and that fish is on your sonar right here if you can get that down to about eye level or above when he comes swimming over then you can work it and bring it down to him if you bring it down from a long ways a lot of times they'll spook them and they'll shoot off like right out of your grasp so that's my tip you want to make sure it's more of a subtle presentation than what you would actually think but there you have it ledge hog uh, fishing supply 